Joining me now is Mick Adams. He is the CEO of Advanced Energy Minerals. Great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Mark. It's good to be here. Now, there, there will be some, including me, before I did my research, that may not be that familiar with the company. Uh, but can you give us a, a brief overview? Because you, you are a large player, a global supplier of ultra-pure aluminum derivative products. Yeah. So um, uh, we've been going a few years now. Uh, we, our main product is high-purity alumina, which we manufacture up to purities of 5N. Uh, which is as pure as, as the market um, can supply it at the moment. There are very few companies that can supply to that purity. Uh, we do produce other um, products through our value chain, but Illumina is where we're, um, where we're focused at the moment. So 50 plus products mm. in, across the board, ceramics, antiperspirants, uh, watches, batteries, many other different uh, sectors. But you have three main uh, trade names. Can you elaborate on those? Yeah. So we've the, th the three trade names are Superlox, and all our um, alumina powder is branded Superlox. Uh, we then have a Supak brand. Supak is essentially that powdered uh, Superlox that's being compressed or manufactured into tablets, uh, which we call pucks. And those tablets go into the manufacture of synthetic sapphire. Essentially, they go into a crucible, they're melted down, and then a, a, a single crystal of sapphire is grown out of that, uh, out of that melt. Um, very high value product. And, that, and that's primarily for watches? or It's for all sorts of things. So every uh, LED light, pretty much in the world, is built on a substrate of synthetic sapphire. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest demand. There are also um, uh, various other ap applications, watch faces, as you said. Some mobile phones have screens with uh, synthetic sapphire in, um, and and then there are some military and other applications. Right. Okay. Yeah. I remember when Apple came out with a, a sapphire screen. Yeah. Correct. That was several years ago. And so, the, and did you mention the third trade name? Third trade name is Supac, which is A P uh, A C H. Um, A C H aluminium chloride hexahydrate is a intermediate product in our processing. Uh, uh, processing steps. There are some applications for that in, in um, cosmetics and one or two other areas. So we market that as, a, uh, as a, another product that we produce. But quite frankly, the focus is very much on alumina right now. So we've established that uh, your company is a global supplier. How do you go about uh, achieving the, the market reach that you, you want to achieve? Uh, we do it uh, through a number of ways. So we, we, we're building up a sales team. We now have people employed in, in Europe, in Asia, uh, in the United States as well. I mean, as a Canadian company, uh, we're not really selling anything in Canada at the moment. There will be demand, we feel, as the battery supply chain takes off in, in Canada, but it's still early days for that. So um, we have our own sales team and... Um, um, technical marketing people because ours is a very um, you mentioned we make 50 products they're all customized customized products of that alumina basically so matching how our products fit with our particular customer needs is quite a technical uh, a technical process so we need sort of technical specialists to do that so we have those people in the in the three markets as well uh, and then we supplement them with distributors who give us um, much broader reach into, into customers. But we work closely with our distributors to give them that technical support as well. Right. And Mick, what are the plans to expand into and grow into uh, other minerals and to grow the company's uh, patented uh, uh, IP? Okay. Um, as I mentioned, we make customized product. Um, we are doing one or two things uh, in terms of product development, which will lead to patents. Um, we've already got one patent application in place for a product that we're developing. Uh, the, uh, and that's really where most of our R&D effort has been in recent times. But, the, but we haven't lost sight of the longer term. Uh, the technology that we have, although we're applying it, it's our own patented technology, we're applying it to the um, manufacturing of alumina. It also has applications in extraction of rare earths uh, and also cleaning up environmental waste. 
Um, so we are, we, we are slowly working on our technology to develop, develop it into those areas. Ultimately, um, there could be um, applications at lower grade alumina levels uh, as well as an alternative to um, smelter grade alumina. Uh, at the moment, our process, we wouldn't say it's competitive at those levels against the traditional buyer process. But we believe in time we could, we could develop it, make it more efficient. Uh, if we were able to get into that market, it would be, it would be great for North America because North America imports all its bauxite at the moment. We would, we would provide an alternative way of, of using the luminous clays that are across North America as a feedstock for smelter grade alumina um, and uh, totally avoid the red mud issue that uh, is synonymous with bauxite processing. All right, all right. So lots of uh, things in the works there. Last question for you. I'm sure there are going to pe be people who watch this who think, well, this kind of company is really interesting, but they're private. So are you content staying private or, or are there plans to eventually look at the public markets? No, we are looking to go public okay. actually quite soon. Oh, great. So we've been funded for the last four years by about 80 investors, um, and three or four larger investors amongst those 80. Um, it's time soon to give them the liquidity that they would like to like to have. I see. And we've got plans to double our capacity in, in our plant in Canada. Uh, 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 IPO would be a great way to raise the capital we'll need for doing that. Is there a rough timeline as to when that might happen? Um, within the next nine months. Fascinating. Very good. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks for shedding some light uh, on advanced energy minerals uh, and uh, watch for it. Keep your eyes out because it's going to be uh, likely be public uh, down the road. Thanks again to Mix Adams and uh, thanks for watching.